Welcome to Castor Woodworks. My name is Juan and I build custom furniture and cabinets for my family and friends. Today we're going to be building a custom desk for my brother. It features a rustic beam and truss base with a crunchy edge granite top. I like to start off every project by creating a cut list and sketchup file. I've included detailed plans for you on the Build Something website and I'll include a link in the description. I use Douglas fir 4x4s for the base. I start off with running one edge on the joiner, then I flip it over and run the other. This gives me two perfect straight edges so that I can take them to the planer and trim them down to final thickness. Here's a quick pro tip. Take a permanent marker and mark off the edges that you squared up on the joiner. This ensures that only those edges right along the bed of the planer. Trust me, you're gonna forget. Start off by taking a shallow pass on the planer. Then increase it to about a sixteenth until you get to your desired thickness. All your pieces should end up being 3 inches wide by 3 inches tall. The next step is to take all your pieces over to the miter saw and trim them up to final size. I recommend leaving all your pieces slightly longer than the cut list. That way you have a little bit of room for error in case you make a mistake. These angles can be kind of tricky. Now you're going to start laying out your pieces so that you can clamp them together. Start off with the legs and line them up with the apron. Leave the side stretchers for last. These might require a few runs on the miter saw to get that perfect fit. Use some of the scrap offcuts and place them where your clamps are going to be. That way you can apply proper pressure during glue up. Once you have everything clamped up, do one final check to make sure that all your angles are at 80 degrees. This is going to help out during glue up. I got this digital angle finder on Amazon and I'll include a link in the description. Space mount. The idea behind all this is so that you can lay out lines for your domino mortises. I understand not everyone has a domino on hand. So if you need to, you can use other techniques such as pocket holes, screwing in from the sides, or using a dowel jig. Unclamp everything you just did and use the reference lines you just marked to make your mortises. It's time to clamp this thing up. Grab your twin brother and apply tons of wood glue so that it creates a strong joint. Let the bases dry overnight. Take them out of the clamps and line them up on your workbench. You're going to be doing the same thing as you did earlier, basically making lines for your domino. Mark off an inch and a half on both sides and then bring that same reference line down so that both of your side pieces have the same reference lines. This is basically so your center stretchers line up perfectly during glue up. Take your domino and make two mortises using the same reference lines you just marked. In my case, I used a 20 millimeter mark on the domino to make the mortises. I use the outside lines of the center stretchers as my references and use a 20 millimeter line on the domino to make the mortises. Now is a good time to check for squareness. Add a few dominoes into the mortises and then drop in your center stretcher. This will let you know if your center stretcher is going to be nice and square during glue up. Now you're going to start gluing up your center stretchers to your side pieces. It's a good idea to use some painter's tape where the joints meet so that you don't have to clean up as much once the glue dries.
Clamp everything together and check for squareness. Sometimes you have to nudge it in a little. I got to test out the Flexio 5000 to spray it two coats of poly. I wanted a rustic aged look on the base, so I used the rusted color from Weatherwash, and I'm really happy with the end result. I let the base dry for about a couple hours in between coats and then I did a quick sanding just to make sure I get a smooth clean finish at the end. Once the poly dried the table was ready for install. Took it over to my brother's house and we installed it in his office. The last step was to attach the top. Since the granite was so heavy we decided not to glue it in just in case it ever needed to be moved. And now the table is done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's my first one, so please be easy on me. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave some feedback in the comment section.